Hello and welcome to sapyard.com. We are really excited to announce our next course which is SAP Finance for Beginners and Above Developers. This is an instructor-led live paid online training. This course is special as the trainer is a certified chartered accountant with expertise in SAP FICO. The trainer is a guru in accounts payables consulting, information technology audits and tax audits. So you will learn from a hands-on industry expert in SAP Finance. This will be a full hands-on course for ABAP developers and beginners in SAP Finance. If you are an experienced developer or a newbie in SAP, this will be a good curriculum for you to dive deep into SAP Finance. Just like any other modules of SAP, SAP FICO is an ocean. It can broadly be segregated into financial accounting, integration and controlling. Account receivables, payables, fixed assets and general ledgers are part of financial accounting. SAP Finance is integrated with almost all modules of SAP. After all, wherever there is business, there has to be finance. Finance is there in controlling. Finance is there in, in procure to pay or SAP materials management. Finance is there in order to cash or SAP sales and distribution. Controlling is another big topic. In this course, we will focus on SAP FI or the finance side and we will not cover the controlling or the CO side of FICO. Just for our knowledge, internal orders, profit center accounting, product costing, cost center accountings, and profitability analysis fall under the purview of SAP controlling. As mentioned earlier, we will focus on the finances of the materials management and the sales and distribution side of SAP business processes. Purchase order, good receipt, invoice and payment is a high level SAP materials management flow while sales order, delivery, billing, receipt cover the high level sales and distributions of SAP. We will focus on these two areas in this course. If you have watched this video till now, then you would be curious what we are covering in this course. Like any other courses at SAP Yard, we will create a strong foundation to dive deeper into the subject. We will explain the participants about organizational units, master data, transaction data, document types, tables in SAP FI and reports in SAP FI. Do not worry, this will not be the boring slides you see in other trainings. We have put special effort and curated this course to make each and everyone understand the complex SAP FI topics in simple, easily understandable form. We will dive deep into the SAP system and check each and every relevant components of SAP FI. Yes, in SAP S4 HANA system. The trainer will blend the concepts with the practical usages. By the end of the course, your fundamentals of organizational units, variant principles, posting periods, GL accounts, balance sheets, profit and loss accounts, etc. should be crystal clear. You will learn the differences between customer and vendor account and how customer and vendors are integrated in SAP. You will also get your concepts of business partners clarified. The trainer will show the bank account concepts and explain a typical SAP FI document from header to item details. Reversals and clearing of SAP FI document is done day in day out. And as SAP consultant, you should know what happens behind the scene whether you are SAP FICO consultant or SAP ABAP developers. Did you assume that this is going to be like any other traditional trainings where the trainer will sing all the theories and leave? SAP Yard takes pride in being different. If there is no opportunity to have hands-on practicals to the, we do not float those training. After all, anyone can read the books or go through the PPT. Three quarters of this course will be hands-on practical. All participants will learn to create their own company code. We are sure not many SAP FI consultant would have received the opportunity to create company codes in real projects. The reason being, these are done by the chosen few consultants who join the project during the blueprint and the initial phases of the project. 
In this training, we will create all components of SAP Finance from scratch. Every participant will create their own company codes, assign it to fiscal year variant, learn how to set the global parameters for the company codes and many more. While working in SAP projects, how many times did you get the error posting period is closed for the selected date? In this course, we will learn where the configuration of open and close posting period is done and how can we change it. If the previous slide was exciting, then this slide and the slides following this will give you an adrenaline rush. Participants will learn how to edit the charts of accounts, how to assign company code to charts of accounts, edit the general ledger, create number ranges for customer and vendor accounts and many many more. How many of you have created customers of vendors in your real projects? We are positive, not many of us done it. In this course, we will create our own customers and vendors, define house banks, link the banks, define document types and post our first SAP FI documents from scratch. Once you have your customers and vendors with GL and bank details ready, you can start creating customer invoice, customer credit memos, vendor invoice and vendor credit notes. We are sure many of us do not know the difference between these documents. Do not worry, we have a certified chartered accountant to enlighten our SAP finance terminologies. Once you have the organizational unit created, customers and vendors set, you will surely want to report what the customers and vendors are doing. SAP finance reports are very significant at the C-level executive of any company as they would like to glance through them very frequently. After all, the company's performance depends on these reports. The trainer will explain the need and importance of these reports. Customer and vendor aging reports, profit and loss report, balance sheet and customer vendor GL line item reports are the most widely needed reports for any organization. The trainer will not only teach how to generate these reports, but also provide the relationship between each reports and the behind the scene transactions and tables used in these reports. SAP ABAP developers should know these sources as more often than not, they will need to enhance them. The customer, vendor and GL line item reports we talked about in the previous slide are this FBL1N, 3N, 5N, FS, 10N, all these T codes. While working in SAP Finance, we need to make these T codes our close buddies. Before we conclude our course, we will do some more hands-on exercises. We will reverse some FI documents, we'll create some more documents, we'll post the general ledger and use T code FB08. Creating FI document is just one part of the process. Clearing the document is another important step. We will learn and practice T codes OBA3, FB70, F32, etc. The trainer will also explain the F-28 and FBRA T codes and have some hands-on exercises for us which will include posting and reset of cleared items. Okay, some more technical stuffs for the ABAB developers. We all know these tables LFA1, LFB1, KNA1, SK1, etc. But do you know the difference between table BSIS and BSID? Did you know that one is for GL open item and another is for GL cleared items? What does that mean? Hold on, the trainer will explain. As ABAP developers or SAP FI functionals, we tend to follow the information provided by our senior team members or other functional experts. We actually do not know the reason behind using these tables or T codes. This training will be a perfect occasion to clarify those doubts and get our concepts cleared for good. Similarly, did you know BSID and BSID are sales side tables of SAP FI, while BSIK and BSAK are materials management side of SAP FI. It took me a decade of SAP consulting to figure this out. If you know such small details, you will surely be a better architect and consultant. One last, last question, then what are those big tables BKPF and BSEG used for? 
Have those table been wiped out in S4 HANA? Since in S4 HANA we have AC DOC A table. Do not worry. These SAP tables still exist in S4 HANA, either in their true forms or as views. So you will be using them in future too. We received hundreds of requests to start a course on SAP Finance. You can say that this course is created on public demand. We have put lots of effort and time to curate this course and make it ready so that it will be 100% useful for all participants. If you are working in any area of SAP or you want to start your career in SAP FI, you should enroll in this course. You will have long term career benefits after taking this course. Let us look into some important date, time and other information. The first day of this training is on June 5th, 2021 at 7.30 am IST. This time is GMT plus 5.5 hours. So if you are in Europe, Africa or West Asia, you might not be able to attend the live classes. This time suits better for participants from Indian subcontinent, East Asia, Australia, New Zealand, North and South America. We are open for registration till May 26, 2021 and the payment of fee and enrollment process should complete by May 31st, 2021. The link to enroll for this training is in the description section of this video. Each class will be little over 2 hours and the whole course will be little over 20 hours. Recordings of this class will be provided after each live session and participants will have lifetime access to these recordings. The S4 HANA 1809 server access will be provided till July 15, 2021. The server access is included in the training fee and you do not need to pay anything extra for it. Please check the description section of this video for the course fee and other details. There is no prerequisite for this course. Anyone who wants to learn SAP Finance can join this training. Be it technical or functional, both are welcome. If you still have any queries, questions, feel free to WhatsApp us at plus one two five one seven two seven nine two seven three or email us at mail sapyard at gmail.com. Thank you very much for supporting and encouraging SAP Yard. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon. Please email us at mailsapyard at gmail.com or WhatsApp us at plus one two five one seven two seven nine two seven three if you have any queries. Looking forward to seeing you live on the training day. Have a safe and wonderful time ahead. Thank you very much.